In this video, I'll show you what could be wrong with a Canon 18 to 55 millimeter kit lens autofocus not working. Coming up right now. Hello everybody, Rudy here from Take A Bath Productions with another how-to video. Today I'm going to be working on a Canon 18-55mm to kit lens. The autofocus ring was locked up when I got it. And a, uh, I, got, I got the camera at a yard sale for like 15 bucks for the whole thing. The lens, camera body. It's a, uh, it's a Rebel XS. It's an older camera, but hey, for 15 bucks, how can you go wrong? I decided to give it a try and found out what the problem was. So I'm going to show you what my problem was and maybe you have the same problem. All right, let's switch cameras and get started. All right, as you can see, we're looking at the uh, camera side of the lens. And 18 to 55 lens. Uh, everything's in nice shape, but you know, except it doesn't work. So basically, we're going to be pulling out some screws to get inside the lens. Uh, what happened was, is there's some gears in there that had stripped out. I um, suspect that somebody probably tried to turn the autofocus, uh, turn the focus ring when it's in autofocus mode, and just it's not supposed to do that. I'm taking out these screws here that uh, that loosen this connection terminal. Got some pretty small uh, screwdriver tips, so uh, I'll post a link in the description. I got this set off of eBay. For pretty cheap, it was less than ten bucks, and it comes with several different sizes. It comes with Phillips, Torx, um, stuff like that. Pretty good set. If you don't already have one, I'm gonna pull out these four screws. And what I did here, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but I put a mark here and a mark here, just a little with a sharpie marker. Just you can do that if you want. You don't have to, but I just wanted to make sure I kept everything the same. When you pull this uh, cover off, you do have one connection here that you have to look out for. So kind of just grab him real carefully and pull that loose. And on these connectors... Um, I there's a hole in them, so take something sharp, can it be a safety pin or whatever, and use that hole to pull those out. It's a lot easier. came apart pretty quick. This is your autofocus assembly, this whole thing right here. And we don't have to pull the whole thing out. We're just going to be taking the cover off with these two screws. If you drop the screws inside, just just like I almost just did, just shake, yeah, do that. And if that happens when you get this screw out and you lose the, the screw inside, make sure you put your finger over that and then turn it upside down. Otherwise, you're going to have a bunch of gears gone everywhere. Before you get to see where they went, could be a big problem for you. All right, let's set that aside. Now, what happened to this one was these two gears right here number four and number five. Four's got a broken tooth right there. I don't know if you can see that. And five doesn't have any teeth. It's got teeth here, but there's no teeth down there. 
And it just, that's what happened. So carefully take that spring out. We're not changing that. By the way, um, I'm kind of using a little vitamin top lid to hold all my screws. So you have to take a couple of the good gears out to get to the ones that you want to take out. Just got to be very careful and try to work it out of there. See this little one's trying to... Try, oh. It's trying to get lost. All right, let's see. That one? Let me, let me see if I can show you. I don't know if you can tell, but the teeth are just gone. And then this one. It's real easy to drop stuff down in there. And that one has a broken tooth. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell, but the broken tooth is right there. Anyway, you get the idea. It's junk! Got the new gears in. Don't forget to put that spring back. Put the cover back on. All right, that's back together. Let's turn the ring. And I do see some gears turning in there. So that's a good sign. When you put this back, it's real easy to get these little cables underneath the board, so kind of watch that. And once again, we're going to use this. Got all the cables hooked back up. The 
This little one here, just gotta be careful with him. I'm sorry if I'm blocking the camera, but I I have to get my hand in there. This one doesn't have a hole in it. There we go. All right, guys, welcome back. Got everything buttoned up. Got the camera back together. And uh, we're going to test it. See, it. see if it works. I hope it works. Uh, first of all, I got it in manual focus. So I'm going to make sure that... Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, it helps if I take the lens cover off. Helps if I take the lens cover off. And make sure everything's nice and blurry. That's pretty blurry. Put it in auto focus and see if we get any beeps. Oh yeah, she went right in. Looks like it's working like a champ. Guys, if you like this video, click on the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I come out with videos like this as often as I can. Thanks for watching.